going to do my best now to cut a B cut into the bottom of my sheer bow. And in order to make this a little bit easier on myself, I've gone ahead and clipped bottom and top above where my B cut's gonna go with some alligator clips. All right, let's give this a shot. on the uh, three inch girder right here and you can see how I have the dense edge all along the same edge so when you go to fold it's going to look really nice. Um, I used a heat press and I pressed my each side down for 15 seconds at 325 degrees. Okay so let's get folding. All right. So the cool thing about the cheer bow is that you can kind of fold and refold a couple of times. And unlike a boutique bow where you're undoing a whole lot of work, you can really adjust this for a while. And uh, yeah, it doesn't take, doesn't take too long, but it's very visual. So, oh, the other great thing is that these rhinestone cheer strips, these are not gonna come off. You can fold and unfold as many times as you want to and they will stay in place. All right. Here we go. It's going to take a little bit of adjusting. Okay, let's try this and see how it looks. So I'm going to start my fold while holding my bow flat down to my surface, and I'm going to fold like this. Turn the 
nicely said. Now, if you have uh, fingernail clippers, that's going to be your best bet. Uh, so you get really close right down there on top of the zip tie. And I'm just going to use my scissors. One last pull. All right. Now, the great thing about using a pony for this is that in the event that your bride does not want to wear a ponytail, night that you guys go out, which is pretty understandable, you can still tuck this away and use either a French clip or an alligator clip to secure it, or bobby pins. But this is going to help you keep the veil inside the bow and have everything kind of draping really nicely. But you still have options if you don't want to loop a ponytail around your hairstyle. Okay, that's looking really cute. So now all we need is our sparkle center. So for my first move, I'm actually going to place a very small amount of glue on the front and glue him down to the front because that's going to help me keep everything centered and in place when I go to glue on the back. So I'm going to let that dry for a second.